Hello everyone and welcome to episode 71, I think. Let's check. Yeah, 71 of Let's Play Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. In this episode, we're going to enter the tomb of Naga Sadel. Let's go talk to you, Thara Wynn. So then, I take it you are ready to travel to the tomb of Naga Sado. Your final test should not be delayed. What's the tomb of Naga Sado? It is a tomb that belonged to an ancient Sith Lord. The greatest of Korriban Sith Lords, in fact. It is there that your test is performed. What's the final test? I will tell you the details when we are there, young one. You will, however, fight for your life. That is why I suggest you be in sufficient health. Last time I did this, the game crashed on me, so let's hope for the best. I cleaned the disc. Then we go now. Yeah, got to this loading screen, and then it never finished loading. And I was like, damn it. Finished loading already. Okay, it did. A day passes in preparation, Uthara. Uthara. Then takes you in... Uthara to the Sith tomb. Blah, blah, blah. Now we're in the Sith tomb. Very well. We are now ready for your final test, young Sith. You have earned the right to see if you shall become one of us. Indeed you have. I dislike your tone, you thorough. What are you up to now? Nothing, of course, my master. I was merely agreeing with you. Should we not get on with the test? Yes. Yes, of course. We are in the sacred tomb of Nagasado, young one. The one discovered by Darth Malak and Darth Revan years ago. You are to follow in their footsteps and reach the ancient star map that lies deep within. There you will find a lightsaber, amongst other things. The lightsaber is for you, your initiation present. Return to us once you have it. For you, the test does not end there. Be very cautious here. This tomb is like the others in this valley, and many of its old defenses remain active. Do you understand what I have told you? Are you ready to begin? Yes, I am. Can you tell me about anything I will face? No, that is part of the test. Overcome the obstacles that lie ahead on your own. Can I leave the tomb? You cannot. No one enters and no one leaves until your test is complete. Find the star map, return with the lightsaber, I understand. Good. Thora and I will await your return. Okay, so we do this alone. I had forgotten that part of it. Let's save. Before we do this, we don't want to accidentally die and have to go back and go through all the dialogue again, so... I had completely forgotten that you have to do this without your companions. A raid, huh? Ah, oh, shit. There's three of them. Shit. Wait, I thought these were... I guess this is a desert planet, so... I shouldn't be surprised to see them here. Did you die already? I thought that was it. We're going to take this slowly. Because we have to heal ourselves. And then we have to give ourselves give our powers a chance to recharge. Let's turn on the shield. So, take your time going through this tomb. Skeletal human remains. This one's bigger than the ones before it. I bet we're sealed in now. Nope, yep, we're sealed in.
Okay, let's, uh... Stamina. Strength. Battle Stimulant. We have to fight this by ourselves. Oh shit, there's two of them? This will be easier once I get one of them dead. Advanced med pack, okay. Let's no, activate one more. Okay, now well let's kill this thing. Good did good damage to it that time. And that time, let's uh come on. We can do this. This is why I say you want to take your time with this tomb. This is very, very dangerous. Got him. Okay. We won. Barely. Shayla's journal, so Shayla's dead. Not yet. I don't want to pull the lever just yet. I want to finish healing first. Still can't go back that way. How the hell did Shayla get in here? We're the ones that got all the prestige, so she can't have gotten in here, right? I don't know. You're not supposed to be able to get here in here unless... Ice grenade, fire grenade, let's put the fire grenade in to the ice pillar and see what that does. God, I really need to sell some shit. Look at this, this is ridiculous. Poison grenade. That's not it. Sonic grenade. Thermal detonator. Leia used one of those. Okay. I guess that's all we need to do there. As long as our hor our force powers are healing, we're good. Let's go this way. And let's save. That way we don't have to fight through all that again. That wasn't an easy fight, guys. Really wasn't. Door. How oh, great a puzzle.
tomb of Okay, I don't want to bore you guys. In order for the chain, in order for the chamber to unseal, all falling for us transfer to the right pillar. Mid upper, this system causes upper low transfers the pillar. Mid system. This system may only be safely transferred to another pillar. It has no systems. Only base. This system is transferred to the pillar. A system will be transferred to another pillar only if it is active. The current systems on display read as left pillar, base system, mid pillar, lower system, mid pillar, upper system, top system. Activate system, mid pillar. Let's see. Middle. Right. Middle to right. Left to middle. Left. Middle. Right to left. Right pillar. Left. Right to middle. Right pillar, middle, left to middle, left pillar, middle, left to right, middle to right. Right, middle to left, middle to left, right to left, right pillar to left, middle to right. Middle to right, let's see, left to middle, left to right, left to right, left pillar to right, and middle to right. Middle, right. All power has been successfully transferred to the right pillar. The room has been unsealed. Let's save again. We don't have to do that again. You guys don't want me to watch me fumble around all day with that. Yeah. 
Die. There goes one. What the hell blew up? Let's use power attack. Oh, we... There we go. We got it. We... And dead. Nagasado's Poison Blade. Okay, so let's return to the middle. And go on the middle path. Almost missed that. Got another crystal. One more path to travel down. Yeah, this is a pretty long tomb. Obviously, you kind of expect it to be, right? It's your final test thing, right? A dangerous pool of acid has flooded the room. Let's see, uh, the fire grenade will vaporize it, right? Probably turn into some kind of gas and we'll die. So let's throw the cold grenade at it. And it freezes it. Awesome. Let's go this way. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. We have reached the final star map. Isn't this exciting? <laughs> Sith statue, Sith lightsaber. Now this will tell us exactly where we need to go. Now obviously uh, you throw a Ban mentioned that she's going to attack what's his name as soon as we get back out there so let's save before we do that shall we I would say there's a probably a decent chance she's going to attack us so you return to us with the lightsaber in hand as I knew you would the force has served you well you took a great risk in acquiring the artifact you used your mind and your power no peaceful meditation, no pacifism. Sometimes you must fight in order to achieve. This gives you your passion. This makes you stronger. This is what makes you superior. That is the lesson we teach with that part of the final test. Do you understand? The Sith are not the only ones who can fight and take risks. Are you saying a Jedi couldn't have gotten a lightsaber? I wouldn't say I exerted myself getting this. I don't believe you. I don't feel superior to anyone. I think I understand. Good. The last part of your test will now commence. Here, you will learn the lesson of competition. All life must compete in order to flourish. Such is the natural way of the universe. To stand still is to know death. One must always be moving forward. So it is the same amongst the Sith. Compete or die. Mercy is irrelevant. So it behooves you in this final test to strike down one you are familiar with for no other reason than to prove you are superior and without mercy. Normally, this would be against another student. You, however, get a special treat. You will fight Euthora here, my own apprentice. What? So this is what you had planned all along? You wish me killed? Indeed. You have become too ambitious, Euthora. It is time for you to die and someone more talented to take your place. No, it is time for you to die, Master. My pupil stands with me. Oh, is this true, young one? You wish to join Euthura in her foolish scheme? Let's see, you're both mistaken. I choose me. I'm tired of playing along with you Sith scum. You both die. 
Let's let's go with this. Do you hear that, my master? That is the sound of a new leader rising to replace you. So the time has come, has it? You both wish to stand against a Sith master and perish, do you? Then so be it. Dude, you gonna die. Oops. Okay, 840 experience. Nice. Yeah, we should be able to kick this guy. Yeah, this guy ain't even gonna be tough. Yeah, almost got him already. Shit. Okay, so he can... Yeah, I'm gonna cut that out. Load. Okay, now obviously you throw a ban is going to make her move. Let's power up before we, uh, there we go. Adrenaline, stamina, strength, battle stimulant. All right, now we're ready to fight. So you return to us with the lightsaber in hand. As I knew you would. The Force has served you well. You took a great risk in acquiring the artifact. You used your mind and your power. No peaceful meditation, no pacifism. Sometimes you must fight in order to achieve. This gives you your passion. This makes you stronger. This is what makes you superior. That is the lesson we teach with that part of the final test. Do you understand? I think I understand. Good. The last part of your test will now commence. Here, you will learn the lesson of competition. All life must compete in order to flourish. Such is the natural way of the universe. To stand still is to know death. One must always be moving forward. So it is the same amongst the Sith. Compete or die, mercy is irrelevant. So it behooves you in this final test to strike down one you are familiar with. For no other reason than to prove you are superior and without mercy. Normally, this would be against another student. You, however, get a special treat. You will fight Euthora here, my own apprentice. What? So this is what you had planned all along? You wish me killed? Indeed. You have become too ambitious, Euthora. It is time for you to die and someone more talented to take your place. No. It is time for you to die, Master. My pupil stands with me. Oh, is this true, young one? You wish to join Euthura in her foolish scheme? Yeah, let's do this. Let's you dance, that, dude. Master. That is the sound of a new leader rising to replace you. So the time has come, has it? You both wish to stand against a Sith master and perish, do you? Then so be it. Let's get him. Almost got him. Got him. Uthar is finished, and a new order is brought to the Academy. Excellent. Unfortunately for you, I don't intend to share power. It's time for you to die. Raise your hand if you saw that coming. Typical, I knew this was coming. I'm going to kill you. That's typical. I knew this was coming. And you should have no trouble defending yourself for what it's worth. Let's do this. I got rid of him quickly. We can get rid of you quickly. You're barely even hurting me, dude. 
die, you Thora. Yes. Stop. I healed. You are too strong for me. Gather your hatred and strike me down if that is your will. I have no problem with that. I have no other choice. I'm sorry. Go on, get out of here. As I thought, you are no Sith. A real Sith would have no hesitation in striking me down. That's right. I'm no Sith, and I'm glad to do it. And I'm glad of it. I'm showing you mercy. Don't push it. I can do that. Just go. And I hope you got what you came to the Academy for, whatever that was. I was right the first time back at the Cantina, wasn't I? There is something strange about you, more so than I even suspected. Your path leads elsewhere to a destiny I can only guess at. Whatever it is does not involve joining the Sith. Not yet, at least. Go then. Go and leave here. I'll not stop you. I'm not sure you could stop us. 3,000 credits, security, domination interface. And a war suit. Okay. Let's exit the tomb. And we are officially done with this planet. This is the last thing we needed to do. We're done with this planet. We can move on to wherever it is that we are being led. Let's exit and let's return to our ship. Where I'm sure more cutscenes will happen. Where we will discuss what our next move is, where that leads us, all that kind of crap. I don't know if you can return to this portion of the game. Or not. I want to talk to my characters all once again. I'll do that off screen. You guys seen enough of me doing that. So. Yeah that's it. We finished Korriban. We finished the, all the planets that we set out to finish. One, after we got done with Dantooine. And we have. Greetings. I don't think I've seen you at the academy before. Here to investigate the ruins. I already did. My name's Dak Vesser. I'm assigned to the Valley Ruins, as you can see. We've been painstakingly uncovering these tombs for many months now. Master Uthar won't allow us to dig with lasers or sonics. We have to use hand tools only, so we don't accidentally destroy anything we run across. That makes progress very slow, however. What can you tell me about the ruins? Well, it seems that the Sith once inhabited Korriban a long time ago. There was a fortress here that was destroyed at some point before the Sith abandoned the planet completely. Why they left, we don't know. Perhaps the Jedi drove them off. The tombs in this valley are the only parts of the fortress we found mostly intact. What unusual findings? Most of the interesting stuff is still in the tombs. But Master Uthar prefers to leave them to be explored by the students as a challenge. In time, they will probably become safe enough for us to enter. Until that time, however, we're stuck to digging up the valley piece by piece. Tombs are dangerous? Definitely dangerous. Most of the students that go inside them don't come back out. Master Uthar prefers it that way. Can you tell me about these tombs? Have you heard of the star map being found here? star map? No. I haven't heard anything about that. Something like that could be in Nagasato's tomb, I suppose. That tomb's off limits to the students. Nagasato's tomb? It's the second tomb on the left when you enter the valley. Nagasato was the leader of the old Sith Masters here, we think. Darth Malak found something in there a while back, however, and ever since then only Master Uthar can enter it. What did he find, do you know? A lot of the discoveries are kept secret, even from the students. I only heard that Darth Malak found something there by rumor, to be honest. 
I have to go. All right, just be careful if you head into any of those tombs. I hadn't talked to him earlier. Let's return to the ship. We got a lot of walking to do. I don't know how much, uh, how many cutscenes there are after that. I mean, I'm already at 30 minutes. And I don't remember. Well, I thought having a level 5 uh, persuasion would do me a lot more good than it has. Uh, maybe a level 5 computers will help. With the final area, with the final uh, temple or whatever you want to call it of this game, which if you know, if you have played it before, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. If you haven't, then you'll see exactly what I'm talking about all in due time, because we are almost there. Hello, Candorus. We're done with this place. Dresde. Let's return to Dresde. Boy, I didn't think I would get finished with it this quickly. Got it done in four episodes. Actually moving along pretty quickly. I mean, this is episode 71 or whatever. Yes. Level up, level them up, and let's go. There's a protocol droid. Let's go up this way into Dresde. I figured I'd run back to my ship instead of just teleporting there. Because I really like this planet, so I'm kind of lollygagging, I guess. It's cool. Well, I mean, I spent a lot longer on the last planet than I did on this one, I think. I actually got through this one relatively quickly. Happy about that. Let's change back into an actual Jedi robe. Prerequisite restricted to dark side. Back to our Jedi Knight Road. What the fuck was that? <laughs> I don't even know. Oh well, back to our ship, wherever the entrance to it is. There we go. Back to the Evan Hawk. I think we'll get a cutscene now, but I'm not entirely sure. We should. I mean, we got the last star map and everything. We should be like, so what do we do now? Type cutscene. It's me theory. I'll talk to all my characters off screen. No, not that way. This way. Manon, Kashyyyk, Tatooine, Starforge system, that's where we want to go. Let's go. Go to this mysterious planet that's all, this is what it's all been leading up to. We have finally found that which we seek. Oh, 
we're not going to get attacked this time. Because for a while there was every single time I got back in my ship and flew anywhere I'd get attacked. Never fall to the dark side. You think torture will turn me, Malik? You are a fool. Torture? No, dear Bastula. You misunderstand. This is but a taste of the dark side to whet your appetite. When you finally swear loyalty to me, it will be willingly. Never. <laughs> Such resolve in your words. But I see the truth in your heart. The dark side calls to you, Bastula. You hunger to taste it. Become my apprentice, and all its power can be yours. <laughs> Things are not going well for Bastila. Starforge. I've never seen anything like it. I'm transmitting these coordinates to Admiral Dodonna. It'll be a quick strike by the Republic and cripple the Sith fleet. Messages away. Now we can just wait for the Republic to show up. We should be safe here. We're outside their sensor range. Small vanguard of Sith fighters coming in hard. Someone needs to get on those gun turrets. Take those fighters out before they report our position to the main fleet. Oh boy. <clears throat> so there, we got, finally got a glimpse of the Star Forge itself. It's like some kind of giant battle station or something that's floating above this planet in deep uncharted space. Got one, two. There's the Star Forge. Three, got three. Where'd it go? Did I get it? I didn't see it blow up. Maybe I missed it. And there's the planet we're headed to. Oh yeah, we did that. Good work. Oh, we've got problems. We've flown in some kind of disruptor field. All my instruments are jammed. We've got massive overloads and all... I'm picking up a single planet in this system. I'll try and put us down there. Hold on. This may be a rough landing. Oh, only one engine's firing. That is not good. This planet's got a couple moons. Interesting.
and we're landing on a beautiful beach. Interesting. So we are here in the final planet of the game. We're getting close, guys. Whew. Talk about your rough landings, Karth. What's the matter? You're flying like you've been on an all-night Theresian Ale drinking binge. That disruptor field fried our stabilizers. We're lucky we made it down in one piece. But if I can't find the salvage to make repairs, I won't even be able to get the Ebon Hawk airborne again. During our rather rapid descent, I noticed the holes of many crashed ships scattered across the landscape. Perhaps the parts you need can be found among their wreckage. The Cathar's right. This planet's a technological graveyard. I saw dozens of downed ships out there. That disruptor field must have wiped them all out. But where could it be coming from? Even if we get the stabilizers fixed, we have to find and disable the source of that disruptor field before we can take off. Otherwise, we'll just end up crashing again. That disruptor field could wipe out the entire Republic fleet. Right. That Sith fleet we saw must have some type of protection against the disruptor field. We have to find a way to disable it, or the Republic will be slaughtered. T3 is picking up massive power fluctuations on the ship's sensors. They seem to be coming from some type of large stone structure to the east. It looks like some kind of ancient temple. They all seem to be forgetting Basla. Hey, I thought we needed to find some stab stabilizers for the ship. We haven't forgotten about her, but we can't do her much good stuck down here. We have to help ourselves before we can help her. I only hope we're not too late. Bastila has been Malik's prisoner for a long time. If he can turn her to the dark side, she will join him, and the Sith will be invincible. Bla Bastila would never turn to the dark side. Here, Bastila will find the lure of the dark side difficult to resist. She is strong in the Force, but she is also impulsive, willful, and proud, as you once were, Revan. Bastila's joined Malik. She'll suffer the same fate he does. I'm glad to hear you say that. Now that you know your true identity, I was afraid you might slip back over to the dark side. If Bastila feels as you do, there may yet be hope for her. Well, if Bastila's on the Starforge like you think, Jolie, then we can't rescue her until we disable that disruptor field. The sooner we investigate that temple to the east, the better. We can probably find the wreckage of a downed ship along the way. And if we're lucky, we can salvage some stabilizers from it to get off this planet. I hope everything works out as smooth as you make it sound, Karth. Well, so do I, Mission. So do I. Okay, thank you everybody for watching this episode of Let's Play Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Please like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would be greatly appreciated. We will talk to you guys next time. Thanks everybody and goodbye.